Imagine taking a walk on the beach. There are thousands of small rocks of various sizes on the ground. They are all different from each other, but when you look at them from a distance, you can still see that they are rocks. Among the millions of naturally formed rocks, one catches your attention from afar. It looks different from the others, both shinier and with a much different elongated shape. Is this also a rock formed naturally, or is it an artificially produced object? For about a year and a half, scientists have been bothered by such a thing, such an object they encountered on the cosmic shore. A rock or object that is very different from the others they have come across in space. Everything started in Hawaii. There is an observatory at the top of Halakala volcano, which rises 3000 m above sea level. One of the tasks of the Pan-STARRS telescope in the observatory is to detect celestial objects passing close to Earth. On October 19, 2017, such an celestial object was detected. However, it was not detected before approaching our planet, it was only identified days after getting closer to Earth. This was because the object was moving very fast, so fast that it couldn't belong to our solar system. It was the first time an interstellar celestial object had been identified. For this object, whose origin and destination were unknown, the name Lumuamua was given. In the Hawaiian language, the meaning of this word is explorer, messenger, or advance unit. Initially, scientists thought of this object as a comet, but within a week, they reclassified it as an asteroid. However, due to some previously unobserved features, some suggested that it might be an artificial object rather than natural. And those saying this are not conspiracy theorists. Moreover, the one stating this is A.V.I. Lubb, a theoretical physics professor at Harvard University. In his scientific paper related to this object, he included the following statement based on the peculiar acceleration of Lumuamua. These expressions are not found in a novel or a movie. They are within the content of a scientific paper. Science fiction writer Arthur C. Clarke wrote a novel in 1973 titled Rendezvous with Rama. Set in the year 2131, the story revolves around astronomers who discover a mysterious celestial object, classifying it initially as an asteroid. However, they realize that the object, named Rama, has unusual movements, indicating an orbit unlike any other. It becomes apparent that Rama comes from outside the solar system. To investigate further, a spaceship is sent, and from the photo sent back by the ship, it is revealed that Rama has a cylindrical shape. Upon closer inspection, they realize it is a spacecraft. Due to the similarities between the mysterious celestial body discovered 1.5 years ago and the story in the novel, some have even dubbed the celestial body Gok as Rama. However, unlike in the novel, we haven't been able to send a spaceship to study it and we haven't even managed to take a photograph. We only have observations made with various telescopes on Earth for about 1.5 months. According to these observations, we know that it is red in color, has a density close to metal, and completes one rotation every 7.5 to 8 hours. Starting from the change in its brightness, it was concluded that it should be approximately 80 meters by 800 meters in size, like a rod. In other words, like a cylinder. Due to its red color, it was thought to be coated with carbon-rich substances. One of the most surprising features for scientists is that this object increases its speed gradually. We can observe such movement in comets in our solar system. As a result of the substances on it heating up with sunlight, a gas emission occurs, and this leads to a rocket effect, accelerating them. The tail we see is, in fact, the result of this gas emission. However, there has never been such a gas emission in Kumuamua. Can it be a comet without a tail? It cannot be. Therefore, scientists abandoned calling it a comet and classified it as an asteroid. However, asteroids cannot change their speed. Also, their brightness can change at most in a 1 to 3 ratio not in a 1 to 10 ratio, as in this object. 
Moreover, comets usually come from the Lort cloud. Asteroids also come from the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and in both sources, they are part of our solar system, so their speeds are compatible with each other. However, this new object is moving at a high speed on a hyperbolic orbit, and its speed is increasing. Scientists say there might be something causing this peculiar acceleration. A solar sail with a thickness of 0.3 millimeters and a diameter of 20 meters. According to a new article published in November 2018, the reason for acceleration could be solar radiation pressure. If this celestial body is artificial rather than natural, it may be using a kind of sail to accelerate by utilizing this pressure, as seen in our civilization's projects such as Icaros and Starshot. Our civilization has successfully designed such sails, making them one of the most suitable and plausible technologies for interplanetary or interstellar transportation. To summarize the findings so far, there is an object coming from outside our solar system that we observe for the first time. This object, either cylindrical or pen-shaped, is increasing its speed, and according to the latest article published, the reason for this acceleration could be a sail-like structure in front of it, similar to a paper catching wind from a pen. While this idea is quite speculative, according to the scientists who wrote this article, it is not so speculative for two reasons. Firstly, if we exist and can imagine such technologies, why wouldn't others? Secondly, we estimate that at least a quarter of the other star systems in the Milky Way galaxy resemble ours. In other words, there is a possibility of life on billions of planets. Even if life and civilization on one of these planets have completely disappeared over time, they might have sent similar exploration vehicles to all corners of this galaxy, just like we sent Voyager 1 and Voyager 2. One of the significant features of our sent vehicles like Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 is that they send back findings to us through radio signals. If Oumuamua is indeed such an exploration vehicle, as speculated by these scientists, it would also need to communicate with its home in some way. Indeed, the Breakthrough Listen project, which investigates extraterrestrial intelligent life forms, immediately started listening to this object. However, they found nothing. Oumuamua was completely silent. Either it was communicating with its home through a method related to the quantum world that we have not fully understood yet, or, without overthinking it, according to Occam's razor principle, it was not a spacecraft. Today, we have completely lost track of this object. While most scientists accept that it is a very special and exceptional object, they believe it is entirely natural. However, the artificial nature of it has not been scientifically proven. What everyone agrees on is that it was the first and, for now, the only object we observed from outside our solar system. In this sense, it is truly a pioneer, much different from the stones we see on the beach while strolling. If the person strolling on the beach were not us, but a cave dweller from thousands of years ago, and they found such a different stone, what would they do? For example, if they found a dead mobile phone on the beach, would they classify it as a different stone but still a stone? Or would they, based on their technology at the time, imagine something and consider it a technological tool made by a tribe they never knew? Whatever the cave dweller does, there is probably no way to explain the actual technology of the mobile phone. Similarly, if we ever encounter a civilization much more advanced than ours, Either we won't notice it or we will try to describe it to the best of our ability based on the technologies we use. However, regardless of the outcome, there is a high likelihood that we will never fully understand what it truly is. Still, the idea of finding a message in a bottle while strolling on the beach is enough to excite a person, 